friends, these are difficult times, I know. And they're particularly difficult for LGBT people living in faith communities and cultural communities where they are not accepted for who God has created them to be and how God has created them to love. And that is why in 2019 I met Pope Francis to talk about the harms of conversion therapy. That's why shortly after we formed the Global Interfaith Commission on LGBT Lives that brings together hundreds of religious leaders from around the world who wish to affirm and celebrate LGBT people. It's why we made the declaration of the dignity of all and the sanctity of life, calling for an end of violence and criminalisation towards LGBT people asking for forgiveness for the harm that religious teaching has caused and calling for a global ban on conversion therapy. It's why earlier this year we agreed the principles to safeguard LGBT people in religious settings and we commend those to religious leaders and religious groups around the world. One of the greatest harms that we face as LGBT people of faith is conversion therapy. And that is why I formed the Ban Conversion Therapy Coalition that brings together hundreds of people who are looking to campaign for a fully inclusive ban here in the UK. It's why I work with international leaders to look at ensuring that there are bans across the world and working with the UN who have just put out a call for evidence to look at the harm that religious teaching and religious practice can cause the LGBT community. It's why we need your help though, because without your support this important work cannot continue. So please consider giving what you can, be it five pounds, ten pounds, anything to ensure that we can take this work forward into the next few years and ensure that we can protect all LGBT people from harm. Thank you.